Hi, I'm Tom from Power Packer. Today we're going to discuss how to change a valve block on one of our 4-inch stabilizing legs. This is the tip sheet. This is the valve body. This is the seal kit. This is an 11 16 combination wrench. This is a 9 16 combination wrench. This is a dental pick. And this is a 3-inch wrench to remove the valve body. The first thing we want to do is extend the jack leg two to three inches to help alleviate the pressure inside the jack leg. We want to remove the hose using the 11 16 combination wrench. There should be very little pressure on these hoses at this time. Remove both fittings by holding the fitting with the 9 16 combination wrench, loosening the jam nut with the 11 16 wrench. Then the fitting will simply unscrew. Using the 11 16 combination wrench, slowly loosen each cartridge valve approximately one turn to relieve any pressure. There will be a small amount of pressure in there, so please use adequate safety precautions. We then remove the valve block, turning it several turns until it becomes loose to take off by hand. You then want to remove the seals, being careful not to scratch the metal seal surface. Using a pick, hook the black upper seal first pull it off and then you can grab the orange seals This is the seal kit. We will not be using the, one of the large O-rings and the snap ring. We are now going to replace the seals. First, the large orange O-ring goes on the bottom. Then the large black O-ring goes on top of it. Then the smaller orange O-ring then the smaller black O-ring goes on top of that and then the last orange O-ring goes on top of the black O-ring. Now we're going to replace the valve block. We're going to use a small amount of oil to put on the O-rings to pre-lubricate them. This is the wrench we're going to use to put the block back on. Using a small amount of clean hydraulic fluid, lubricate the O-rings before assembly. We're now going to install the valve block, remove the plug in the bottom of the block assembly, and then screw it onto the jack leg until it is fully seated. Use the wrench to torque it to approximately 100 foot-pounds.
We then, using the 9 16 wrench, we need to loosen the bolt in the front. So we can position the block correctly. And then retighten the bolt. If the bolt does not go all the way in, just twist the block a little bit and then the bolt will continue going in. We now replace the fittings and hoses, remove the plugs out of the valve block, screw the fittings in, Holding the fitting with the 9 16 wrench, use the 11 16 to tighten the jam nut. Then reinstall the hoses. Use the 11 16 wrench to tighten the hose down. You then need to cycle the jack leg two to three times to purge any air out of the system. Then check your hydraulic fluid and fill as needed. The replacement of the valve block is now complete.